What's going on Japan? Tua Cruz here checking in in Nagoya, Japan. Actually, we're in Toyota, Japan today and I'm here with my wife Tun Chan and we're going to be doing a mountain bike climb today. So my wife has never really ridden her mountain bike here deep in the mountains yet and so today we're doing our first ride into the mountains. You guys asked for some gravel, you guys asked for some more mountain bike. So here it is. We're going on her first real gravel mountain bike road climb and I love this road. This has been one of my favorite training roads here in Japan for the last five years that I've lived here and this is a really fun sort of ATV kind of road so you'll see some ATV cars out here, some dirt bikes, some mountain bikes. There's no real single track or anything but there are some pretty tough sections, some boulders, some loose rocks and stuff and it's a nice diverse range of different things on this climb. Ah, hirari. So this first part is pretty challenging. There's a whole network of trails here. We're going to be going up this one, which is the main fire road climb. And this ride is actually a continuation. I made a video from the first part of our ride for riding over here. So if you're interested in seeing the full ride, go check out that last video first. I'll link it above so you can check it out. It's a pretty fun route on the way over here. And this video, uh, because the last video was really long, is going to be a continuation of that uncut the full ride so you guys can see the full course what it's like here mountain biking in Japan and there aren't too many public mountain bike courses here in Japan honestly but if you know where to look you can find these nice fire roads occasionally this one is a bit of a nice gem though because this is where all the motocross people the dirt bike people will come out and so this community has been built around this area so I think this kind of road it's a little bit more rare, but there do seem to be quite a few of them if you know where to look. And so this whole first part of the video is going to be the climb. So if you're interested, you can also check out the descent at the end of the video. I think it's going to be a really fun descent for her. And some of these trails are just way too steep for a mountain bike, but you can ride a dirt bike up those. <laughs> so yeah, this part is really rough, lots of loose rocks, but it does get a bit more smooth after this. It's a pretty, uh, from the dirt part of the climb, I think all out, if I'm doing an all out effort, it takes me about 12 minutes or so. And no. if you go casual, I think it's about 20, 30 minutes. Ah, uh, migi. Migi, migi. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a big gorge here, a big drop, but we can go on the right lane. Ah, uh, you could eat there. I think it's her first time ever riding in this kind of section. Kawaii? No. No. <laughs> oh, scary. No scary. Not scary. Not scary. Not scary. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, this part's a little dangerous though. Oh, yoku dekita ne. Tensai wa ego de? I don't know. Genius. 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 Ah. I am genius. Ah. Go, go, let's go. <laughs> so we're climbing. It's pretty steep right now. She's putting out some decent power actually. The tricky thing with mountain bike climbs is you got to have some pretty good power and you got to have some good balance. You got to know when not to put out too much power so you don't slip. So she's actually got some pretty good natural talent for this. I think because from her hometown in Vietnam, she's used to climbing some dirt roads, some dirt road climbs. So she's got a pretty good natural sense for this, even though she hasn't really ridden her mountain bike that much on real mountain bike courses or anything. And this mountain bike is actually a new bike for her. So if you haven't seen it already, we made a video about 
uh, me getting this bike for her for her Christmas present this last year. So you go check it out. It's a really fun video. Her reaction is priceless. We also made a video of us building up her mountain bike. So anyone new to the channel, you can go check those out. Yeah. Uh, no trade to Zenzen shi gao ne. Asagiri no. Zenzen shi gao desho? Are no ko ga okanjiru kore. Ah. Ah. So we actually rode at one of our first single track trails uh, just a few weeks ago. And I think because of that experience, this isn't really difficult for her at all. So this is more kind of like double track, wide kind of fire road style mountain biking, which is a lot easier for beginners, but it definitely requires a bit more physical stamina because you're climbing, um, but definitely less technical skills compared to some zigzag single track. But you do need some sense in knowing what lines you should take, what lines are the better ones to take. And yeah, and these steep little kicker sections, you gotta put out some decent power. She's doing a champion job. Thumbs up for Tunchan. Kicking butt in the video. Thank you. <laughs> And actually, we didn't lower our tire pressure yet. We came over here on regular roads, so our tire pressure is a little bit high. So this might actually be a bit easier if we lower her tire pressure, but we'll do that for the descent. For now, she seems to be doing okay with her current tire pressure. Oh. Sugoine. Thank you. Tanoshii desho? I don't know what it is, but these kinds of climbs, even though they're technically more painful and you need to put up more power, you don't really feel the pain as much. I feel they're a lot more fun. Whereas like a road climb, you could be putting out less power, but it just feels a lot more painful just because it's not as enjoyable. So I really love these kinds of technical climbs. It's one of the reasons I like mountain bike more than road bike. Oh, look at that. She's got the sense. She knows what line to take. This is her first time out here and she already knows the pro lines. But yeah, the great thing about riding over here is this is out in the countryside on the outside of the city and there's nobody out here, especially on the weekday. So we get this whole trail to ourselves today. So we don't have to worry too much about the virus, hopefully. We've been mostly staying inside and trying to ride the spin bike, doing some Zwift rides personally. And unfortunately, Chunchan hasn't been riding that much. So she has been getting a little bit out of shape lately because we don't have our daily bike commute anymore. But that's part of what today is all about. Get back on the bike, get back in shape. I'm working on getting her a pair of road shoes so we can get her on Zwift as well. So looking forward to that video soon. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of different routes you can go here. So you can get a little bit lost here easily, but generally the trails all lead back to each other at some point or another, but definitely a good idea if you come out to these kinds of trails to have some sort of GPS device so you can track your position and you know which direction you're going. So you can find your way back if you need to. 
there's not always cell phone <laughs> service in these mountains, so a GPS device is usually a good idea. And this, this climb is pretty massive actually. The first half is on pavement and this is the second half on the dirt that we're doing in this video, but we were climbing for quite a bit before we started this video as well on the pavement. Definitely Tuan Chun's biggest climbing day in a while. Ah, Koko Hoshiru. So this line, she definitely doesn't know, but it's pretty tough. This line, you gotta go right here Yeah, check out these boulders. Let's see if she can make it. Make it her. I don't care. Ah. Quai. Ah. 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 And she's doing a killer job for her first time out here. And the koko hirari. Moto moaste, haiku. Kitsui desho. Yeah, so mountain bike is all about those short power bursts. So you gotta know when to put out power. But as you can imagine, this road is really fun to descend. You gotta be careful not to get too cocky, too confident on the descent though. I've actually, I uh, have crashed here once, just going down way too fast. So not making that mistake again, especially when I'm carrying equipment, camera equipment with me. And perfect weather today. This climb is actually, I really like this climb in the winter too because uh, the winter is really cold to ride with the wind and everything. But when you're isolated here in the mountains and you're doing a climb, you can get pretty warm. So. It's really nice and comfy out here in the winter. Here in the spring weather, it's not too hot. Just right, nice short sleeve weather. Uh, but in the summer, it does get pretty hot in here. And the heat isn't so bad, but the bugs will get pretty bad here as well. Lots of mosquitoes if you stop, uh, which is a good motivator <laughs> to keep riding. Still got some ways to go up. Yeah, I don't even have to tell her she knows where to go, she knows the right way. These sections are always flooded, but luckily we've got this nice path out here on the side. Keep the bike, the bike nice and clean, nice and dry. Power bursts. 
<laughs> this wall ride is really fun on the descent too. Power on na. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. まだ登れるの? あ、まだまだ。わあ。長いよ。この後美味しいもの食べる。わかんない。美味しいもの。じゃない、どこにある。左。アンパン。アンパンかな。はい、はい、最後まで頑張って。頑張ってよ。We got to hurry up and finish this ride before it gets too dark. But the way back should be nice and fast. Oh, I think she's gonna love the downhill. So actually there is one really tough section on this climb. Uh, it's pretty much all rideable except for this one section which is just pretty much impossible to ride on a mountain bike. You'll, you'll see what I mean when we get there. This part is still okay though. Amigi migi. Masugu. Hirari. <laughs> yeah, she's doing amazing for riding this kind of terrain. First ever time. It's amazing. I think this is the, the more difficult part about to start. Yep, almost to the unrideable part. Let's see how far she can get. Oh, すごい. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ここは無理. This part is unrideable, but... <laughs> Actually, you can ride this section if you get a, if you get a nice ease into it. This part is still rideable, but even after this, it's just not worth it in my opinion because the rocks are really slippery, so it's easy to slip and you can injure yourself and eventually you're not going to really be able to ride past this point. <laughs> Jitensha osu. 
れた<笑>あ,あ And the crazy thing is, some of the ATV cars will be coming down this road actually, or up this road, both ways. Huge rock garden here. We're gonna pose for the picture up here, for the video. Check that out. <laughs> it's Nissan. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's really slippery here. Okay, let's get that. Next we continue this way through the boulder garden and this part also is unrideable. <laughs> uh, so much for keeping our bikes clean today. いや、引っ張るじゃない押す後ろから。あ。ブレーキも使えるよ。頑張って。Yeah, that part's actually pretty. That part's actually pretty risky. We should have went up the left side. Anyway, that's the end of the unrideable section. At the chotrake. Osunoga. うでのトレーニングになる。オッケー、最後。はい。はい。はい。はい。お。Okay. Lots of sand all over the bike now. Starting to get in my socks. Taking some bad lines. <laughs> yeah, I got She's not used to riding in these boulder sections yet. It'll come with practice.
And this part, also pretty tricky, but is rideable if you know the right line. Most it, most it. Kokohirari. Yeah, so, so being able to ride some of these lines definitely comes with some experience, knowing when and how much power to put out so you don't slip. We're both riding a little bit high tire pressure right now, so that's one cause, but another part is experience. You can learn how to not slip with some practice. Almost to the top. Let's get there. Oh, ho, ho. I never took that route. So you can actually, this is the, so this is the peak, but we can actually descend down here and this will go down to another road, but that'll make our ride a little bit too long for today. We're not, we don't have enough daylight to do the longer route, but you can continue down this way and get to some more boulder sections, which are really cool. And it does head towards the hiking section and there's a whole temple and shrine area that way as well. We did a bike and hike video there a couple years ago. But anyway, we're not going that way today. There's a whole bunch of cool ways you can go back here, but this is the main climb that we did today. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back home now. I think we're gonna we gotta get some food for Tunchan, and we're gonna enjoy the downhill together. And just so this video doesn't get too long, we're actually gonna split this up. So if you're interested in watching the rest of the video, the rest of our ride, we'll make a separate video for the downhill coming up next. We'll upload that either tomorrow or the next day. So be on the lookout for the next upcoming video. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Jane.